Well, Mark, thanks for joining us today. We just wanted to talk to you about how things have been building up to the new season. First of all, how's your summer been? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a busy one. You can obviously tell by how tired I look at the moment. Uh, we've certainly been hard at work. Um, it, it, it never stops. I've, I've fortunately managed to get away a few times. Um, had to escape to the office quite a few quite a few times during the holiday. Don't think the missus was too happy. Um, but no, we've been we've been really pleased with our business. It's, um, we, we have worked hard and like I said, that, that work started from day one when we come in. It's not just something thrown together last minute. Um, we, we've been actively always, always looking ahead. We've always had a plan ahead, um, but we, we just couldn't take our eye off the ball last season. We had to make sure we arrived in this position to be able to try and really uh, get our, our vision out there. I think it's quite clear that the board and ourselves share, share this vision and how we want this team to look. Um, this is probably our first opportunity to maybe put um, our stamp and our way, our way on it. Let's touch on that. Obviously, since this video has gone out, we've announced eight new players joining us. Just tell us a bit more about the process there and the players that have been brought in. Yeah, I think we've, we, we wanted to make sure that we had, we had players that have played regularly at this level and played regularly last season so you know they've got a history of doing sort of 30 plus games last season so we know that they're fit and they're, and they're, and they're hungry and we wanted to make sure that they were located in a in a way that aided sort of rest and recovery um, and we also wanted to make sure that we addressed some experience in the group but also keep that young youthful youthful energy and, and we wanted to make sure that we could build uh, a hard working exciting team. Let's just go through them because there's a lot to go through. But obviously the first three are the Weymouth lads, obviously Josh, Ollie and Tyler. Tell us a bit more about them. Yeah, first of all, Josh McCoyd, um, who's had a, a fantastic career. Again, uh, a range of experience, plays in multiple positions. Um, scored nine goals from midfield in a, in a relegated team. Captained them, um, was, was their top performer most, most games. Um, I know him well. Um, he played for me at Weymouth. Um, after I, I think I took him from from Aldershot, where he had a, a real injury ravaged spell in in, in his career, but um, he's, he's he's really settled well now. Um, you know, he's got two lovely daughters off the pitch, and it's not just the players' experiences; his life experiences, which he can share with this group. Not only is he a, a great player, um, he's hit some great numbers this season, um, and one I'm really really excited to see. And like I said, he can play multiple positions. Um, a goal scorer, but also can share those experiences that he's had throughout his career, and he's had he's had some great ones. You know, international football, championship. He's um, he's going to be a, a real asset for us. I suppose on Josh in particular, obviously, it's a bit of a you know a chance to come back and show what he's done with the experience he's made with yourself and elsewhere, elsewhere as well. Yeah, I don't think he's got anything to prove. I think he's had a fantastic football career at the very highest level. Uh, he's had a couple of um, injuries, is what has probably enabled. Is, is why he's even at this level at the moment. It's probably because he had some injuries for a couple of years. Um, but I know from that, that's a hardship that you come through the other the other way. And he's certainly come through that. I think this is this is the best Nick he's ever been in. He look, you know, he he's got that experience of knowing how to look after himself. Um, like I said, you could play Josh anywhere now. And he's obviously always known for his forward play. He's actually played holding midfield. He's played number eight last season. So. Uh, like I said, a wealth of experience, a wealth of knowledge, but also a wealth of talent as well. Talk about talent. Obviously, defensively, we've got two Weymouth lads coming in, Ollie and Tyler. Tell us a bit more about them. Yeah, obviously, two lads I've, I've worked with before at Weymouth and also worked with for, for quite a while in the, in the Bournemouth setup. So that we both know a lot about each other. We know They know how I like to work, how we like to play. And I think it is important that we had a core of players that come in who knew straight away what the demands are, how we want to play, so we can gel a lot quicker. I think we've certainly done that in, in, in the three Weymouth lads with the Bournemouth connection as well. Um, Ollie is a, a flying fullback, really athletic, gets up and down, um, you know, li likes to defend but also likes to attack. And I really feel that he's going to bring a, a lot of energy to that, to that fullback position. And Tyler, of course, brings a lot of height in the midfield uh, in defence, rather, and also a lot of experience despite his age. Yeah, I think the same as same as Ollie. I think he's 23, 24 now, and he's probably done 100 national league games. Um, Tyler's done almost 50 League Two games, 100 national league games. He's a man mountain, but he's only 23. He's uh, you know he's both footed. Again, he's got he's got all the attributes you need, um, but it's going to be a big season for us all and for him because. Like I said, he's got all, he's got all the talent, and uh, we we can't wait to try and uh, realise that that potential. But what we have got is we've got a very young, athletic but experienced centre half. So um, he can, like I said, he can play left, right, centre. He's uh, he's two-footed, a 
aggressive in the air, good on the ball. So um, no, we're, we're again, we're, we're really excited by that. And, and again, we've worked with each other before, so we're hoping like that start point is 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 a lot higher. If we're not starting over again, we're just revisiting, refining, and. Um, and not only that, I think the experience that he has for such a young man is, is going to be vital. Let's talk about three of the front players you brought in, Justin, Francis and Innie as well. Yeah. Different levels of the spectrum in the sense of Innie's quite experienced, been there and done it. Francis is a bit raw. And the same with Justin as well, who's gone up in Scotland and played for a little bit. Yeah, again, look, three ranges of, of players there. I think one thing they all have in common is they're athletically very powerful, all of them. And I really wanted our, our front line to be full of pace and power and really excite excitement they've certainly got there I think we start with Francis you know I really like his his story is uh, you know he's still a young man but he was probably I think for me he's probably the most exciting talent outside the National League you know we've watched him multiple times um, and again I think he'll really flourish and and benefit from coming into a full-time environment um, you know 30 plus goals last year um, he really had a lot of admirers last year and we, we've done well to to get him to our football club um, and like I said, scored a lot of goals. He's an, he's an exciting prospect. A lot of hard work ahead for both of us, you know. But one I'm really, really looking forward to going on a, on a, on a journey with him, hopefully. And um, like I said, he's got all the attributes to be a, a really good player for us. Justin's had experience this level and above, also in the league below, and also in Scotland as well. And a young lad, nonetheless. Yeah, and, and again, this is what's what's so beneficial about these players is it's, this isn't their first their first go. They've had some great football experiences but also life experiences which will put them in a better place now to, to really make the most of most of their talent and again a really talented lad got all the attributes and then just you know, these sort of players I think we're just hoping that our environment brings out brings out the best in them you know get them as, as fit as they possibly can but also really like um, refine refine their talents they're all really talented boys and we just we, we can't wait to get to work with them to be honest because um, I said, I think they're all very scalable lads, these. I think they're all looking up, and I think that's what they all share in common with the, the younger players we brought in. They're all hungry to get up the leagues, and, you know, hopefully that's with us. But, you know, if not, they're looking to really further their careers. So they're, 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 they're hungry lads who have had some good experience and um, are looking to kick on. And he's an exciting one as well. He obviously comes from local rivals Woking, but he's got the experience this level, 14 or 13 goals in the National League last season. You know, he's been there, done it, and you know, he brings a lot to this team nonetheless. Yeah, it's, um, you know, I think that was uh, a real big coup for us. Um, he's got every attribute you need for a front man. Um, you know, you, you could play any up front by himself, he'll, he'll take on the whole back four. You know, he could, he's, a, he's a strong boy, he's a quick runner, he'll run down the side of you, he'll hold it up. He was a constant thorn in our side. He's a player we well know, and I, I really think with his attributes, he, we're, we're getting a player fully in his prime. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the other players we've signed, they're so scalable and so exciting, and we can't wait to we're ready to put them into their prime. I think we're getting a player arriving here at, at his best. He's uh, played a, a lot of football, um, a lot, you know, some different clubs, different experiences, and we can't wait for him to share that with the rest of the group. I'm really looking forward to getting getting the best out of him, but he's certainly someone who's uh, a real key signing for us to get that that number nine in the building. Um, which we can play off, play into, play around. And um, like I said, that's, that's um, one we're certainly delighted to go over the line. Next signing we've also got is another new signing, of course, Archie Davis. Tell us a bit more about him, a bit of a, a bit of an unknown gem. Yeah, again, look, Archie's been well-educated, come through the Brighton system. We all know what quality players they, they produce. Uh, and he's gone on, he's had, he's had 70 games in League Two and he's 23 years of old. So again, another flying fullback like like Ollie Harefield will get up and down, wants to be on the ball, wants to get involved in attacks, but also can defend 1v1. So again, an exciting fullback, one who's got all his best years ahead of him and we're, we're looking really forward to uh, trying to get, you know, continue to try and build his career and, and get the best out of him. He fits that mould that you're after perfect, doesn't he? You know, 23, the right age, and he's also had the experience to back what he's what he's done in his career so far. Absolutely, and that's what we've tried to do. We, you know, we, we we can't always be everyone's first dance, and uh, but we also want that youthful energy and that scalability, and because they're only going to get better. And I think we've we've done really well in doing that. That we've got players who have had some great experiences, but still young enough uh, to, for their best is still to come. And, and it's up to us to unlock that potential and get that out of them. And that, that's the exciting part of it. You know, I feel. We've really got an exciting group here. You know, we're going to speak about a lot of signings today, but the ones that we've kept as well is, is, is the most important thing as well, that we're, we're really building 
an exciting young team here. We've managed to get a little bit more experience in the spine as well. And I just feel that we've tried to address the balance of the group to make sure that we've got that real attacking intent, but also still embrace some of the things that we learnt last year. We were hard to beat, we were hard working, we were fighting. We've got to make sure we're built on that, but we've also know where we've, uh, where we've got to improve. And I think we've certainly done that with the signing so far. Looking on social media, the final one, maybe a few fans weren't expecting Joe Partington, a great signing for us. Yeah, a, a real vital one for us to get in. Uh, again, we talk about experience. Joe's played multiple levels, League One, League Two, uh, National League. Um, some people know him as a defender, I know him as a, as a midfielder. He's got the potential to play in, in, in a few positions, which is great because we're going to have a, you know, we're not going to be the biggest squad, but we're going to be one of like, you know, quality rather than quantity and it's important that you know during a game you can go in and out of a few formations and he certainly allows us to do that can cover a few other positions but as a front screen midfielder technically very good um, reads the game really well um, again can handle the physicality of the league um, won the trophy with Bromley a few weeks ago had an instrumental part in that and um, like I said he's, he's a leader as well um, a really good character and with players like that around, you know, I've got obviously Joe Partington, obviously got Josh McCoy and Effie on the new lads coming in. It's what they're going to do for the rest of the group as well. So they're, they're going to be so important on the pitch. They're going to be just as important off the pitch um, to keep our environment running how it should be running and share their experiences with those younger players. And, and they've got a big part to play in, in improving them as well. So eight new players in the building. Obviously a few more weeks till the pre-season starts. What's the plan moving forwards? Plan forward is is now is just to refine our our pre-season um, schedule, which was again all put into place uh, a long time ago. But like you know, minor adjustments on that, and it's now just a case of getting ready to get these players uh, in the best possible shape they can be, and and to gel, gel us as quick as we can. Like eight players is a lot, um, so we've got to bring us all together. Um, but I feel that we've brought the right characters and the right mentality that we can hopefully. Um, do that sooner rather than later. I think we've all got a common goal, a common aim. I think with the boys coming in, the most important thing was a lot of work went into bringing them into the football club. But the last part is that that human element where you sit in front of each other and look in the white of the eyes of of them, knowing that you're going to give them everything you've got to make them the best they can, and and they're going to give everything they've got for the club and the shirt as well. And and I feel we've signed the right characters. I think. Every single one of them could have gone to another football club uh, on probably more lucrative as well, but they've chose our football club because of because of I sold them the football club that we would be a great place for them. I sold the football club on on our great fans on us you know on our on our environment on what we can they're come and enjoy the football they're come and enjoy playing here and um, we all shared a, a common goal and uh, I really feel that we've brought the right characters into the football club, which was, was the most important thing. I suppose as well that goes to the fans as well. Obviously a message to them. We all know last season was a bit of a difficult one, as you said in your update, but now this is a chance to reset, move forward and hopefully kick on from here. Yeah, last year was, was difficult. I and mean, I've always said tough times. You, you learn a lot and the players that we've kept have been through a lot. We've been through a lot together. The players that we've brought in have had tough experiences as well. That's what galvanises you, makes you who you are today. Um, it could have been a whole lot worse. We've... We, we, we did well, we've given ourselves a platform now, that's what we were fighting for, to get through to the, to the se end of the season with our National League status intact so we can really prep and plan and, and drive this club forward. Um, this league's going to be even more unforgiving, it's going to be even more tougher. It, it, you know, Last year was the toughest it's ever been um, and next year the team's coming down are stronger, the team's coming up are stronger. It's going to be a really exciting league and an exciting time, and we're looking forward to embracing that. We see we, we see that challenge. It's one we want to we want to take on, take on. But it's one we got to take on together, and we need everyone with us. We know we got to give them something to get behind. We've certainly been working hard since day one. We come in like you know we haven't put this together in the last week or two. Um, it, is, it wasn't easy to get players of that quality. Uh, in the building, but um, fortunately, they they really brought into what this football club is about. I suppose that's the final message, isn't it? Is you know, even though last season was difficult, that was last season. This is here and now. Look into the future and something positive and attacking, and hopefully, better results moving forwards. Absolutely, um, you know, we we've got to look forward. We've got to learn from learn from experiences, 
Um, I'm hoping those experiences we go through, we went through together. You know, they, fans could have folded on us, we could have folded on them. We didn't. We, we come through at the end and we know there was tough times and we know that we were alienated people at times. But we, we come through at the end because we would never give up, we'd never stop fighting. And we're fighting again now. You know, that, that's gone now. We're just going to learn from those experiences, build on them for the, for the future. And we just want to strengthen our bond with our fans and our community because, as I always say, together we're, we're stronger. We've got to be one, one family. It's uh, us against the world now. I think we've probably been written off very early on in the, uh, in the betting odds, as some people have, have told me already. And uh, already we've got a lot of people to prove wrong.